We found out the best way to unlock the platinum camo for all guns in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer and we'll be giving you guys a full showcase of that in just a second but just so you guys know to be able to unlock platinum camo you need to unlock all the gold guns in that weapon class first so we decided to do assault rifles first and then you will get the platinum camo challenge for each individual gun that you'll need to complete so now guys let's show you how we did it to get your platinum camo you gotta, gotta, gotta get your long shots, man. So we're gonna give this a whirl. We'll try it on um, Invasion for a little bit and see what's up. We only need three more, I think, to get this one platinum, so. The nice thing, too, is about this mode is it is a little com it is a little annoying that the bots something that don't count towards your challenges, but the nice thing about it is that everybody that's on the minimap is a real person. And so you're going to know who's a real person and who's going to track towards your long shots and who isn't. So you can kind of, you know, kind of figure out essentially who's going to count and who isn't going to count. But he's just slowly climbing up the buildings. <laughs> hmm. Man, so brother man. Gonna try to get a little bit further away from these guys. That way I can get my long shots. That guy killed him. Ah, uh, I didn't count. They're all spawning this building over here, though. That's a real guy. No, I got shot in the back. I think the best way to do it is to literally just tack insert their spawn and just pick off the uh, the people who are on the radar. That way you know it's not the bots. That's probably the best way to do these challenges. Just the annoying part is just trying to get into the spawn, especially if they're like hella people sniping. There's so many people that love sniping. It's like the ground war in MW 2019. People just like sit in the back of the map with snipers, dude, and they like love it. They love that crap. Sick stuff, man. Sick stuff. But hey, that's how they enjoy it, so. Alright, we're gonna attack insert this. And then we're gonna start blasting off the roof. We're actually in a good spot now to be able to do this. Finally. Also, it helps too if you get five points at the bottom. That's how you know it was like a real person as well. Like confirmation. Because the bots only count as one. I think we need one more long shot. We should only need like one more. That was a real guy. That was also a real guy. That's another long shot. We're gonna get one more, just to be safe. Just to be safe. That's one too. Aw. this? Stolen. For platinum! We got it. Sweet. Yeah, see, I got the trophy too, so that means we did it. Sweet. That'd be a nice screenshot, by the way, Taylor, for the... Yeah, and so now I guess what we'll do is we'll, uh... After this game, we'll go ahead and showcase what this what this looks on, uh, or how this looks, sorry, rather, I should say, on this gun. It, um, again, you do have to kind of unlock it per gun, just like gold. So once you complete all the gold camos, you unlock the ability to complete the platinum challenge. Which is then something you gotta do for each gun, too. That inside the building, I couldn't pick it up. So it works exactly how gold does. So you're gonna have some guns with platinum, some without, but you're not gonna be able to move on until you get all of them platinum. Like the next level of the camo. If that makes sense, that's kind of how they did it. Um. Okay, well, I have no ammo. So I guess we're just gonna do this. Another thing, too, actually, I'm mentioning this kind of late. I don't know if Taylor's gonna use this or not in the freaking video, but most of the time, the real people spawn in around the same spot. So if you figure out roughly where they're spawning at, like these right now, the guys I'm killing are all real people. They'll spawn in about the same spot. You can usually figure out that way too. That's another kind of a big key help. Hmm. Gotta level up these launchers, bro. So I'm just blasting people. It's weird that with the launchers too, you have to literally like level them up to be able to do the one challenge. And it's only one challenge. So the longest part about the launchers is leveling them up. Just interesting. Interesting way to do it, for sure. Owie. That guy? Okay, there's the long shot. 
And that's the game. Easy peasy. All right, let's show you guys this camera now that we finally unlocked it. So this is Platinum on the good old M4. Now, I will say this as well. A lot of people are saying that the long shots are not tracking on the M4. So if this is you. If this is you, complain. Let everybody know. You know, hopefully they fix it soon. Not quite sure what exactly is going on there. Some The other long shots, though, are all tracking. So I don't really know what's going on there, but... It's also, I believe, the same long shot challenge for each of the guns to get it platinum. So just, it's just basically, long story short, just long shots. It's similar to how the gold camo works. The gold camo is just three kills ten times, right? Same kind of crap. It's the same challenge, but, but platinum is just a different challenge. You know what I'm saying? The scar actually looks really clean. I like what they did with these camos. I think the camos look really well. Not a bad deal. Let's show the AK. Oh, frick. Actually, I should have done that with no cam, huh? Aha! Oops. I did it with no cam instead. This is what the scar looks like. Pretty good. Can't complain. I think I just said that other one was the scar. Not the scar. Alright, I think I said the scar last time, but I don't know if I showed this, I think I did, but just to be safe. And I guess you could just, you could literally just chuck these 